Hello guys, welcome to our channel Inspiring Minds. This is the continuation of what is the weightage of chemistry for the NEET exam and also the last part of the video. In this video, we are going to discuss about the weightage of physical chemistry and also look for the important chapters of physical chemistry according to the marks distribution. According to the analysis of last 4 years of NEET paper, the weightage is very high for chapters like chemical bonding and ionic equilibrium, solution and colligative property, atomic structure and electrochemistry. These four chapters covers 50% of questions from physical chemistry. So let's first discuss these chapters. Starting with chemical and ionic equilibrium, in AIPMD 2013, the weightage for this chapter was 16 marks. While in AIPMD 2014, no questions were asked from this chapter. In AIPMD 2015, in NEET 2016 Phase 1 and NEET 2016 Phase 2, the weightage for this chapter was 8 marks, which brings us to our next important chapter, Solution and Colligative Property. In AIPMD 2013, the weightage for this chapter was 8 marks. In AIPMD 2014, no questions were asked from this chapter. In AIPMD 2015, 12 marks of questions were asked from this chapter. While in NEET 2016 Phase 1, 8 marks of questions were asked from this chapter. And again in NEET 2016 Phase 2, 12 marks of questions were asked from this chapter. Which brings us to our next important topic, Atomic Structure. In AIPMD 2013 and NEET 2016 Phase 1, 4 marks of questions were asked from this chapter. In AIPMD 2014, the weightage was highest from this chapter, that is 16 marks, which reduced to 12 marks in AIPMD 2015 and in NEET 2016 Phase 2, the weightage for this chapter was 8 marks. Which brings us to our last and final most important topic, that is electrochemistry. In AIPMD 2014 and uh, NEET 2016 Phase 2, the weightage was 12 marks, while in AIPMD 2015 and NEET 2016 phase 1 the weightage was 4 marks and in AIPMD 2013 the weightage was 8 marks. Now as we have finished the most important topic, let's look at some other topics. The first one in the list is mole concept and volumetric analysis. In AIPMD 2013, the weightage for this chapter was 12 marks, while in AIPMD 2014 and NEET 2016 phase 1, no questions were asked from this chapter. In AIPMD 2015 and NEET 2016 phase 2, 4 marks of questions were asked from this chapter. Which brings us to our next topic, chemical kinetics. In chemical kinetics, in AIPMD 2013, no questions were asked from this chapter, while in AIPMD 2014 and NEET 2016 phase 2, 4 marks of questions were asked from this chapter which increased to 8 marks in the year AIPMD 2015 and NEET 2016 phase 1. Which brings us to the most easiest topic of physical chemistry, solid state. In AIPMD 2013, AIPMD 2015 and uh, NEET 2016 phase 2, 4 marks of questions were asked from this chapter which increased to 8 marks in AIPMD 2014 and NEET 2016 phase 1. Now let's move to the next easiest topic that is gaseous state. From this chapter in AIPMD 2013, 4 marks of questions were asked which increased to 8 marks in the year AIPMD 2014. In AIPMD 2015 and NEET 2016 phase 2, no questions were asked from this chapter while in AIPMD 2014, 8 marks of questions were asked from this chapter. And in NEET 2016 phase 1, 4 marks of questions were asked from this chapter. Which brings us to our next important topic, surface chemistry. In in AIPMD 2013, AIPMD 2015, NEET 2016 Phase 1 and NEET 2016 Phase 2, the weightage for this chapter was 4 marks, while in AIPMD 2014, no questions were asked from this chapter. Now let's move towards the last chapter of Physical Chemistry, which is important and easy at the same time if you study it properly. So let's move to Chemical Thermodynamics. In AIPMD 2013 and uh, NEET 2016 Phase 1, the weightage for this chapter was 8 marks, while in AIPMD 2014, AIPMD 2015 and NEET 2016 Phase 2, the weightage for this chapter was 4 marks. So with this video, we have finished the three-part video series for what is the weightage of chemistry for the NEET exam and uh, let's look at some tips for chemistry and revise what we have covered so far in this three-part video series. So according to me, the student must focus on all three parts of chemistry that is 
फिजिकल ऑर्गेनिक एंड इनऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री बिकॉज वेटेज ऑफ ऑल थ्री आर ऑलमोस्ट सेम एवरी ईयर एज आई शोड यू इन द ग्राफ इन द फर्स्ट वीडियो स्टूडेंट मस्ट बी स्ट्रॉन्ग इन केमिकल बॉन्डिंग विच हेल्प इन बोथ ऑर्गेनिक एंड इनऑर्गेनिक क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द नीट पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू केमिकल बॉन्डिंग इज ऑल्सो इम्पोर्टेंट एज इट कैन बी ऑब्जर्व दैट इन एवरी ईयर फोर क्वेश्चन आर आस्ट मिनिमम फ्रॉम दैट चैप्टर ऑल्सो यू शुड नॉट निग्लेक्ट चैप्टर्स लाइक बायोमोलिक्यूल पॉलीमर्स केमिस्ट्री इन एवरी डे लाइफ सर्फेस केमिस्ट्री प्रैक्टिकल ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री एंड क्वालिटेटिव एनालिसिस बेसिक एंड स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड क्वेश्चन आर आस्ट फ्रॉम दिस चैप्टर्स सो इफ यू आर अवॉइडिंग दीज चैप्टर्स दैट मीन्स यू आर लिविंग द मार्क्स on the table and you shouldn't be doing that now if i have to talk about organic chemistry then you should practice reactions and through conversions and you should uh, solve as many conversions as possible which helps you to remember all the reactions for physical chemistry revise the formula and important principles and for inorganic chemistry use study tables for remembering all the reactions and structures make tables of oxides oxy acid etc so i hope uh, these tips and the videos were helpful to you if you like this video then please share it with your friends and classmates and uh, if you have not yet subscribed to our channel then please subscribe i will be making more such videos for you in the future too